Hey everyone, welcome to another episode of All Consuming Podcast. This is our core values number eight. Yeah. That's like two months now. Eight weeks we've been doing this. We're on a roll. And we haven't missed one yet. Knock on wood. Not, it, well, no, well, let's see. We'll see how that goes. Oh, okay. Um, so yeah, today we have some good stuff. It's Good Friday. Mm. So there's some uh, music that dropped and I can't wait to go over it and talk about it. Uh, so by the time people listen to this, Easter will have already have happened, so... Happy Easter, everyone. Happy Easter. Um, he is risen. He is risen. He indeed. is risen indeed. Sorry. <laughs> I'm trying to decide what to do next. So, patrons, we haven't given you a shout out in a minute, and so there's a couple of you uh, that signed up for us to do that. Yes. So, Aaron Peter, I did it for the mug, Trey Christmas, Heavy Metal Prophet, Adam Briggs, and Christian Wigley. You guys are awesome. Thank you for being our patrons. And... Everyone else that's our patron, we're, we also love you guys. Like, that is amazing. Today I posted a thing for our Encore, and we got a lot of people replying on that one. So I had a lot to uh, add to our list. Um, and we got a we got an interesting one today. So I can't wait to, to get to that. Let's so go. should we just get started, jump right in? Well, no, I want to hear a little bit about your Easter traditions before we get going. Oh, Easter and tradi- Easter, tr- Easter? Easter, dude. Easter. Like, it's coming, like... I'm excited for know, it. You should be excited. Like, what does it look like? Do people like have the... traditions? Like, I think all right, so. here's, what, here's what we do most years. Yeah. Um, I go to my wife's family's house uh, and over, you know, a two-hour drive away yeah. for the day, and we do the Easter egg hunt. They put a whole bunch out in the yard. They have a golden egg that they hide, and it has, like, probably 20 bucks in it. And there's other eggs that are around with just some cash. Some eggs are around with just some candy. And they let all the kids go first. And they have, you know, when the kids are done, they're like, we count all the eggs. And then the adults get to go out and find the remaining. But since I have little children, I get to go out with them and, like, and you know. steal their candy. Like, take, look, there's one right there. Look <laughs> yeah, in the yeah. flower. Look at that. <clears throat> anyway, so we do that uh, with them. Um, and then the next day, I typically run sound at church for Easter. Yeah. Um, so... I will be there early and running sound, doing the whole Easter service. Probably be there, you know, six hours total is my bet. But uh, other than that, that's it. I mean, sometimes we have people over after church, but I don't think we're doing that this year. This year we're not going to be in town for Easter. We're, uh-huh. we're going to Disney World, right? And, like... It's kind of crazy. I haven't missed an Easter since I've been a Christian for, you know, however many years now. It's been a minute, right? A long time. And, you know, my kids, obviously, every year they've been alive, have gone to Sunday Easter church, you know, and they wake up and there's eggs and stuff like that. And so, like, we're actually going to be, like, on a plane. We're doing a red eye Saturday night. Sunday we'll be arriving at our destination, right? Mm -hmm. On a plane. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and so my daughter was like, "So is the Easter Bunny gonna like deliver our eggs on the plane?" Or and I'm like, "What?" <laughs> yeah, I don't even know what to say to that. He like, jumps we're in, really high. We're in like the absolute like you know you could say like if you spent the night at a hotel you can have a couple things ready for in the morning or whatever you know but we're on an actual plane that's going to just overnight like they're gonna yeah. fall asleep on the plane be on the plane yeah you know and is the Easter Bunny omnipresent? I don't even know. You just lie and say, "Oh, they we we told the bunny and it uh, left it at the room." Or my kids, back at home when we come back. Uh, my kids, uh, if you're listening to this, kids, plug your ears. They don't believe Easter Bunny is real. Um, yeah, I don't know if my kids really do either, but that's I don't a really know, like, hard one to believe and scary like, one you know St. Patrick's Day was, was around and they're like you know is our leprechauns real we're like no and they're like well if the leprechauns aren't real and Easter Bunny's not real is Santa Claus real and I'm like well, what do you think well <laughs> they just left it at that and, and you don't want to ruin coffee. the childhood but also like you don't want it to be like then go to the point where they make the next connection well is Jesus real yeah, yeah you know what I mean there has to be that, that direct separation um I don't know. Like, also, I think it's super weird. Like, I I love my family, my parents, but they get my kids gifts for everything. Like, they come over and they gave gifts for St. Patrick's Day. Like, I don't understand that, right? <laughs> gifts for Valentine's Day. Gifts. 
like gifts for like Martin Luther King Jr. Day. Happy, <laughs> just, happy Memorial Day. But yeah, like every 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 holiday is like they come over and they they bring like a gift. They get a gift and it's like this is getting kind of out of hand, guys. Like mm-hmm. you know you don't need to get a gift when I when I was your kid. You didn't right? give me presents. You didn't give me yeah. stuff. I mean, Why that's do a my kids get job, stuff? Right? Yeah, they enjoy that. But so this Easter is going to be a little weird, a little different for us. But um, yeah. That's cool, man. I'm excited. Yeah. Easter is always like one of my favorite times of the year, uh, for sure. Before being a Christian or after? After. After, for sure. Like, I'll go, like, I remember, like, you know, the first few years of being a Christian and going to uh, Sunday church or going to Good Friday service. And, like, I don't know, how old was I? Like, 20, 20, 19, 19. I was 19, I think turning 20 right so it was a long time ago yeah. but like dude the emotions like and i still feel those sometimes you know they just get a little watery eye yeah although i do cry a lot anyway so i guess but you do like you know like when you're at a baseball game or any live sporting event and like a national anthem dude and airplanes <laughs> fly over they time it just perfectly and like maybe a firework comes up to you during the national anthem uh, i can't contain myself <laughs> I'm serious, man. It's just too much right. for me. Yeah, Anyways, I mean, we need to get I, yeah, started. Yeah. We need to get started, dude. Right, Sorry. We'll do that. So we're starting with a fun one. Uh, here we go. Core Values, episode eight. Yes. This is a cover song. We covered, We talked about this band um, a couple weeks ago. They had an EP come out. Um, they actually made a vinyl with that EP that's a split with Forerunner, which we also talked about. Yes. So that's pretty awesome. I, I had to buy that. But this came out in January of this year. So this year. is Take? Yep. I'd, I'd tell you the name of the song, but I think you can figure it out. I've already heard this cover, and let me just tell you, I love it. So the song's called What If. And what if I told you, Gary, this song is by one of the greatest bands of all time? No. Creed. Oh. Dude, his voice, though, like, let's be honest, his voice right now takes voice compared to Scott Stapps. It's great. This is, like, new metal. Dude, you're hitting this, like, sweet range. I love it. An Dude, angry and this, Scott Stapp. Yes, angry Scott Stapp. This song, though, like truthfully, when I'm, I'm I was younger, listening to this on Human Clay, this is heavy, dude. Like back then, this was heavy to me. And then, like the riff comes in. Oh, what year is that? Like ninety nine, right? Ninety nine, I think, or ninety eight. Yeah. For an So the, uh, the the debate of Creed being a Christian band is a very interesting debate. I don't know. Like, yeah. Like, as a non-Christian, I always assumed they were Christian. Yeah, and a lot of Christians are like, nah. Right. I mean, he grew up as a, a Christian. And he is now. Now, yeah. Obviously went through some tough stuff, but yeah, I remember creation in the Tri Cities Creation Fest. Scott Stapp solo, really? Oh yeah, dude. He came mm-hmm. and played all these Creed songs with the band. So do you really like? Do you like Scott Stapp's solo stuff? No, I didn't know any of it, but I did know all the Creed songs he played, which was awesome. Well, I mean, now, like, do you like Scott Stapp songs, or are you like, nah, Creed? It's, it's the musicians more than Scott Stapp. I'm sure I would like it. I don't. I can't tell you if I've listened to it or not. Truthfully, but just trying to figure out if your thing is the vocals or the music. I do enjoy that vocal register, like that. Two though? screamers on that. Yeah. 
Yeah, this is a fun cover, dude. And so when I picked Creed for the uh, 1990s or pre-2000s album for the uh, Kingdom 4 episode, yeah, when I picked Human Clay, like, even on those comments, it was polarizing. Yeah, Some people, people are like, Tyler wins because of Creed. And then other people are like, Tyler gets last place because of Creed. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, they're like, oh my gosh, all those picks were great. Then Creed, you lost me. And some people are like, how is Creed Christian? And I'm like, there's so many other picks that we talked about that you could say the same thing. Yeah, you know? maybe even less Christian. But Yeah, Devil Wears Prada Zombie EP. Happened to I mean. also be my pick. <laughs> <laughs> Tyler, you might not be a Christian based on your picks, man. Oh, dude, let's go. Slower. It's so funny because I re- like as a middle schooler, this was such a heavy song to me. To think that a heavy band felt the same way and remade this, <laughs> like, let's go, dude. That's pretty fun. That's fun. So what would be the equivalent of your childhood band, like, song being redone into something super heavy what do you mean like, you know like what did you listen to that was creed-esque tfk i no, that's the 2000s you know so back then it would have been you know most of those grungier bands grandma train uh so yeah it'd be like somebody redoing a grandma train song or whatever and just being absolutely heavy with it yeah i can't pick anything right now i mean i did make that real recently because i found a band i haven't listened to in forever called human they're not on spotify they're not on apple they're not on anything i found two songs on youtube one of them was a music video and i was like oh man uh but they had a song where he actually screamed a lot uh called fat man delicacy oh it's basically a song about gluttony but uh and I, that's the one I wanted to hear because I, I, I could remember like the way he screamed delicacy. And I, think it's, I was like, I have to hear that. But I think it's funny when you you make these reels of like Beanbag or Grandma Train or whatever. And in my mind, you say you're going to do it or whatever. And I'm like, that's going to – no one's going to know that. And then there's like people that are like, dude, core memory. You just brought it back or <laughs> there's, whatever. There's dozens of us. <laughs> <There's> do- <laughs> Is that an Arrested <laughs> Development quote? Let's go. Yes. Yeah. Hey, it's Kaylee Cuoco for Priceline. Ready to go to your happy place for a happy price? Well, why didn't you say so? Just download the Priceline app right now and save up to 60% on hotels. So whether it's Cousin Kevin's Kazoo concert in Kansas City, go Kevin! Or Becky's Bachelorette Bash in Bermuda, you never have to miss a trip ever again. So download the Priceline app today. Your savings are waiting. Go to your happy place for a happy price. Go to your happy price, Priceline. Yeah. All right, so let's move on to the next one. <laughs> All right. Uh, so this next song, uh, these guys on our Discord server, and, you know, they're not uh, just on our Discord server. They've outgrown us. They're doing really well. The band's called Unworthy. Lots oh, yeah. of people love them. They make great deathcore. They got an EP coming out soon. Yes. And so they have their first single. So Tyler and I have already heard this because they sent it to us a while ago. And it's, it's amazing. Yes. So let's listen to it. Uh, this song is called <clears throat> Forsaken by God. And it's featuring Connor Luttig. Luttig? From what? Uh, voluntary Mortification. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I knew that. Here we go. See, if you like Deathcore. And awesome Christian dudes. Yeah, like, like gospel lyrics. Yes. I also feel like the vocals in this album, like, are a step above what they've been. Like, musically, too. I think this whole album, just in general, is, like, yeah. one more step up than what they've released. Yep. I mean, they mixed and produced it all themselves, and even this one. And if you go and listen to their, like, first... The EP just before this one, even, and listen to the, these songs. It's they've improved so much. Super proud of these guys. Woo. Yeah. Do I, do I, do I, do I, do I, 
So is Jordan doing some of those too? I don't know. We should ask him. So yeah, this is a two-man band. Yeah. Got a bass in there. Ooh, 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 ooh. Jeez, dude, I love that. Yeah, dude. Dennis does so good on this one. Yeah. So man. Dennis Woods is their vocalist. And Jordan is the guitarist and, well, music the everything, man. Producer. Yeah. I hope people really catch on to this. Yeah. And... I mean, we listened to the whole EP, and this was like a top three song for me. So, yeah. this being their first single, I'm like, oh man, like they did, it's not my favorite one that they're doing first. So, I, yeah, I do love this song though. I think it's a I'm great way to, to start for sure. Who's that? Thanks, Jordan. Mm. So I've been rocking the Nail Dead Risen Impending Doom album a ton lately. Yeah? And there's elements right here that I totally kind of think fit that. My God, my God, why have you forsaken me? And he says it's a concept album. Really? Yeah. I, yeah. I think there's a few reasons that I really like Unworthy. Um, Number one, you know you're going to get absolutely brutal music, right? Like, it's going to be brutal. It's going to be heavy. Um, but you're also going to get the gospel with every song, right? And so you know, you just know, like it's War of Ages. It's uh, you know, when you think of bands like Bloodlines, you know it's going to be like this is a Christian song, yeah. right? And I I truly appreciate bands that do that. Yeah, you don't have to have caution with like, well, what are these lyrics about? Right. I mean, even this one is kind of like a, a lamenting, right? This song, like Say asking it. for God, Say you it, know. Gary. Like, Lamentation. There you go. It is go. a lamentation. <laughs> there you um, go. Yeah, like the the EP you'll see is like it, it starts off a little darker and it, the mm-hmm. it has like a turn. Um, like they they I don't know deconstructed and reconstructed or they've figured out their faith or whatever it is. But right. I should listen to that EP again before they drop it because yes, I was just reminded about that. I mean, so we we know that uh, me, Gary, not the biggest uh, deathcore fan, but I really like Unworthy. This this EP that Unworthy's dropping, it's good. It's if you do great. one thing from this Core Values episode, go follow them on Spotify, listen to all their stuff. Unworthy is legit. And there are boys, so go listen. Yeah, do what we say. Do what we say. All right, so up next, a band called Darkness Divided. Do you know them? You know, I've heard of them. I couldn't tell you a song or if I yeah. ever listened to a song. I've, I've made you listen to them once. When and what we did were, I say? You're like, this is really good. I should listen to them. Um, you said they sounded like uh, early Fit for a King and Phineas or something. Oh. Uh, anyway, they broke up a while ago. Like, I don't know, 2016? 2018 was their last EP. Uh, so, but they're back. Awesome dudes. Um, so this new song is called King of the Undertow. And yes, it is Christian. 
or rather they used to be or labeled that way I don't know so we are they still wouldn't know so I said Phineas I can see how I said that it's a little faster than what they usually do I love that it's uh, got undertow in it already, you know? Yeah, the, the song title? Yeah. Just because it's, it's a trope, you know, in metalcore. Dude, you yeah, say anytime you get undertow or anything water, truthfully, in metalcore, you know it's going to yeah. be legit. It's going to rip. Dude, I love that. The I image is pretty cool too. It's got like a giant fish monster thing I did, in the I, water. I think I remember us sharing, or you sharing that, and me looking at the story. So. Yeah, yeah. The single dropped like earlier this week. In fact, I think it dropped like Saturday, like the day after mm. we recorded our other. And episode, we were like, so. no. Yeah. Yep. I like how they still have that guitar tone. Like I can, I can hear their, their guitar and just know. Here we go. Ooh. So you feel like this is what they've done previously, or is this a new direction? New direction. Cool, cool. I dig it, man, for sure. A little sure. faster. I think it's a little more focused on the guitars. That's just one song. Where so is this part coming from? See, that's new. That's new. That's good, though. You're a solo guy. I, I love give, solos and Give breakdowns, Gary so. a solo, yeah. and he will spread his wings and fly away. I like how their bio says Metalcore is back on the menu (laughs) I love that (laughs) Sounds good That's cool So do you know the Wilhelm scream That's like on every movie (laughs) No No. So okay, there's a there's a scream that's put on tons of movies. It's just like a standard like ah like usually a guy getting thrown off a bridge or getting eaten okay. by a monster or whatever. It's it's in tons of movies. Literally like thousands of It's the same of scream? Yes. They took the same audio sample and it's in tons of stuff. It's even in video games. It's like a known thing. Once you hear it, you always hear it and honestly it kind of ruins movies for me now really? cuz it's like that's so lame. That's it's like on scream. TV shows and stuff and like it's just it's just overused. To me, the word undertow is the Wilhelm scream in metalcore, you know? Just like, if you're, you're going to talk about drowning or, you know, neck deep in water or, you know, undertow. Like, the water is rising. Yeah. I, I, yeah. It's a, like you said, trope, but I, I haven't got enough of it. Yeah. I like we, it. We I'm, need more. I'm good with it. Also, closing eyes, keeping your eyes closed or open, those are big things, too. Yeah. We're either supposed to close our eyes or open our eyes. Yeah. Or and they'll tell us that a lot, you know, yeah. so that's exciting. Or sleep with one eye open. That's a big one. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right. What do you got for me next? So up next is another guy from our Discord server. Okay. Um, he's in he's in like a couple bands, actually. Uh, but this one is called Grunge Punks. So this is a little more punk rock um, I wasn't going to say hardcore, but there are elements on some songs that are kind of like that. I'd just call them probably like punk rock and rock and roll. But uh, this song is called No Kids, comma, Pets Okay. Okay. But yeah, he's got an EP that came out today. 
uh, with five songs. And so two of them were singles from like the past year or so. And so I chose this one because it wasn't a single. I like it so far. It's fun. They got, it's good energy. It's punk. It's like hardcore punk. Yeah. Ish. With a pop punk guitar. Yeah. So this guy's on our Discord? Yep. Cool. Aaron Reynolds. Awesome. Yep. I follow him on Facebook, I think. Maybe Instagram. And uh, he, like, goes to those, like, restaurants and stuff where, like, he goes up there with the guitar and just, like, plays music. You oh, know? cool. And so, like, he'll, like, do... I think he did a Creed song or something, and I wanted to, like, send it to you and be like, where are you, Tyler? <laughs> you should go there. That's uh, funny. But, you know, the crowd's, like, singing along with them and stuff. But This is, like, to me, like, I like this genre yeah. of music, right? Like, this in-between... It's not heavy, right? But it's, like, not Your pop. wife would approve of it? My wife would approve of it. Like, yeah. I'm big into Blink-182. I like the pop punk. I like that stuff. So, I like it. What was your pop punk band, Gary? Goaty Hook. Oh yeah, I knew that. They're more pop though. Or punk, excuse me. Yeah, right? yeah definitely. Oh, like, yeah. More their the drums actual... are just going. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Otherwise Reliant K. Yeah. That's true. Reliant K probably like fit my, there. Yeah. This is kind of like a grungier. Yeah, that grunge guitar punks. that's going through the whole thing. It's like the band name is the genre. <laughs> That's pretty good. It's good uh, summertime summertime road yes. trip. You know? Absolutely. Dun, 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 dun. So, pretty good, huh? Love it. Yeah, you guys should check him out. Uh, he's on Instagram, Facebook, and all that. Uh, EP just dropped. Cool. The EP is called The Fall Blues. What was the band name again? Grunge Punks. Grunge One Punks. word. One word. Cool. So up next is a rock band, I'll call them. Rock. Uh, so I never got into them. The band's called Glasslands. They got big in like 2016. They had an album come out and like everybody said they were a Christian rock band and stuff. And I had, I've never heard of them. And like until like probably during COVID. People were on our Discord server and like, oh, my favorite Christian rock band is Glasslands. And I'm like, who? So anyway, I've been listening to them a little bit the past few years off and on. And they had a single drop. Um, and it's pretty interesting. Uh, I think of it like... Well, I'll press play first before I tell okay, you what I think yeah. But the single's called The Meek. Okay. Uh, but I think of like Silent Planet, their new album, but alternative rock. Okay. Because you kind of love a silent planet, and I was like, huh? Yeah. Okay. They call themselves uh, atmospheric rock. Oh, atmospheric is a great word to describe this. But, uh, I mean, so the vocalist, he's got chops. The band is interesting. Um, it was actually formed from. What band? Icon for Hire? Yeah. Uh, so Icon for Hire's bassist wanted to form his own par- project, and this is it. And then Beartooth's band, the drummer, he left in 2016 and joined this. So it's like Icon for Hire and Beartooth put together. Um, so it's interesting, but uh, their vocalist, he gets down. It's fun. It's cool. Yeah, 
Yeah, this is a new sound, like, from what they used to do. A lot more atmospheric, a lot more electronic. And there's people on our Discord that were like, dude, Grasslands rocks. Yeah. Got it. Yep. Listen to them. That's cool. He screams. Yeah. That's what I meant by gets down, if you didn't know. I didn't know what you were trying to say. Oh, sorry. Because I get down, but mostly to other Mostly stuff. to clown. Yeah. <laughs> Clown. Got a breakdown? Gonna get one. Ooh. That kind of comes out of nowhere, dude. Like, yeah, that's really fun. Super like atmospheric, like easy going, and then this. I mean, better than Devil Wears Prada Rituals. <laughs> yeah. Ah, oh, that's great. And then back to it. Yeah, heavy on the melody. So people that are really into that kind of stuff, that just want like a really angry section, this is great. Do, 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 do. All right. That was great. Yeah. Different. It sure. is different. Yeah. I wanted to, I didn't want to just do straight hardcore today, you know. Oh man. <laughs> oh shucks. It's not really up to me. I just do whatever Spotify is like, hey, Gary, this is new. Yeah. Based on what you listen to, you're going to love this. And I'm like, click, drag, add to this playlist. Tyler and I are going. Let's go. Yeah. So uh, up next. Uh, I got three to go before we hit Encore, so let's get oh. moving. Oh. So this one is the band Small Voice, which we've done a yeah, couple songs rock, now. Dude. They, they got another so single, hard. just came out three days ago, technically. Uh, band is called, or the song is called "Pick a Side." Backslider, still listening to it, man. I love it. Still, yeah. yeah. He posted on Instagram today about releasing a worship song. Really. And he's like, what would everybody think? And I'm like, we're in. Do it. Yeah, it's definitely one of the, those, like, we're doing this core value episodes and discovering it. I'm like, dude, I love that song. Put it in the rotation. Like, yep. part of the awesomeness of doing this. Tyler's lifting tracks. <laughs> I did think I made a pretty creative reel with the uh, high school musical where you're just like getting down. When you know you're a sinner and the (laughs) the song reminds you of that you're a sinner, but it goes hard or something. Yeah, something like that. That was great. Love it. What did he say there? I gotta know. I can't stop backsliding? Sometimes I feel I'm good for nothing. nothing. Dude, I love that. Kind of reminds me of, like, Convictions a little bit. No one to blame but me. Uh, 
That's good the stuff. way to do it. Metalcore right there. It's going to be some good, like, is this going to be an EP or a release? Yeah, I think of so. I mean, it's going to be awesome, songs. man. It's going to be really yeah. good. It's and a two it's man band, one, dude. Too. Oh, two, two man. Mm -hmm. Southern California. Southern California. Them and Unworthy should hook up, dude. Oh, let's go. There's a day when I'll get a new body. Yeah. Awesome. Dude, that's fun. That's cool. I'm digging everything they've put out, so. Yeah, I mean, they're up to what? Let me look. Four songs? That's cool. Yeah. I'm excited. Small voice. Keep it going. Yeah. Can't wait. So, up next uh, is another band that uh, we made a reel with before, I think. Oh, yeah? Or no, I talked about them. I did one of my Gary videos. Oh, yeah. That I should probably do more of, you know, like. Go look over there. Hey, hey. You like this band? You should do. Yeah. That. So, about pointing in reels. Yeah. Okay. So, I've heard from people, younger people especially, like they see the reel and I point like if you like this band do the whole pointing thing you know yeah. and like it went off kind of you know and you've done your pointing stuff they're like that's like the most millennial thing you could do I I agree I hate it you hate when it you, when you're like Gary just point and then write the text up there that says it, every video I, I like, see people point what, at stuff dude. yeah but whenever I see that it's like it's like when like Facebook first started making videos before Instagram was a thing and you had like these you know, people standing there holding cards and they would just, <laughs> yeah, the, the card would yeah. say like, my name is so-and-so yeah, and then they yeah. like pull the next card and it's like, you know, I was diagnosed with Crohn's disease last year. Pull the next card, you know, like if yes. you, you know, it's like, okay, like I'm sitting here watching a video, but reading your text <laughs> in a video and I hated that. And I feel like that this is just the next step of that. The next it's step like, of that. let me point at this blank spot on my screen, put words up there. Um, I think it's creative, and I don't care if it's a millennial thing. I know. You're like, Gary, it doesn't matter if you think it's awkward and weird. People watch it and react, and it goes viral. And I was like, fine. <laughs> fine. I'll, fine, I'll, I'll like drink my coffee in silence and put an impending <laughs> doom over it. <laughs> <laughs> right? Like, I don't know. Yes. Yeah, that's true. All right. So let's move on. Let's move yeah. on. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, so I got two left, both hardcore. Uh, if you're so not the next listening to hardcore, what are you doing? I don't know, dude. Though I don't know. It's probably metalcore. You know, I okay. lately I've been calling a lot of things hardcore and people are like, Gary, that's not hardcore. I'm like, well it's hardcore metalcore. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. So the next band is The Tarnished. They had an E P drop today. Oh, yeah, dude. Yeah. Uh they have a song called Vultures that uh, I m mentioned in one of the reels we were yes. just talking about. Uh Kingdom Core had a great um meme reel of people fighting to one of their songs or whatever, but Really great. Uh, I think two two songs on it are singles, but I picked one that I listened to for about 20 seconds, and I was like, this is the one I'm going to share with Tyler. All right. So, I haven't heard it then, so I'm still... Here we go. Yep. This song is called Brutal Truth. The EP that drops is called Self Decay. Yep. Your tinnitus is kicking in. Tinnitus. <laughs> Yeah, I like it. Ooh. Group shout. Uh, boy, I love me some group shouts. Like, I do feel like that's a, kind of a lost art, you know? Oh. Let's go. That dissonant guitar. Dude, I'm in on that. Oh. This is gonna hurt. What is? This is gonna hurt. What's gonna hurt? <laughs> This is 
and it's not a breakdown. It's a giddy up and go. A, let's go. Let's circle pit this thing up right now. That's cool. Love those drums. Love Me it. Dude, there's unrelenting. Those drums. Mm. Yeehaw. Sweet, man. Yeah, those guys rock. Those guys rock hard. Yeah, that's a great EP. I mean, I've only listened to about uh, four of the six songs. So. Heck yeah. And all their songs are in caps, so you know it's a good EP. Isn't Take like, in caps, too? I think so. They're just... They forgot to take and the it off. Forerunner, and the Forerunner did it too, I think. Everything's All in caps. caps. You know who does everything in lowercase? Idle Threat? Idle Threat. Hmm. Hmm. It's just a trend. Yeah. That's cool. So the last one I chose for us is, I will say, our good friends in Meadows. Dude, they make we, me feel good. You know, so we've done like four songs. Yeah. Already. And... So the album drops to dropped today, like right now. Album's out, ten songs, and I'm like, oh man, what song do I choose to talk about? And without listening to the whole thing, yep. And like you know, five of the songs I've already heard. So I just started pressing play, and I like listened to like half the album already. And I'm like, <laughs> all right, we'll do this one. But as I kept listening, I was like, shoot, I should have picked that one. Oh, I should have picked that one. You know what? We should just do an episode on this one. We let's just take each core value. Cut it, just put it together, <laughs> <laughs> put the snippets together, and release it as a Meadows <laughs> episode. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We should do that. We should also like talk to them and be like, "Hey, we love it." Yeah. Um. So I chose uh, track five, "Life and Death by the Sword." Okay. Um. And yeah, I listened to it for about thirty seconds, and that's how I picked. I was like, "This is the one. This is what we're gonna do." So last song for new releases. You ready? Yes, dude. Let's do it. So the album that dropped is called Familiar with Pain. Which if you ever looked at the album art, you'd knew that. You'd know that. I love their comment they did on maybe Facebook. They're like, you guys dig in these spots and find these things we like to bury. Like, <laughs> <laughs> Thanks. The problem with these reactions, I find myself just intently listening. I know. Rather than reacting to anything. People are like, do something. <laughs> They're not moving, and we're like, The guy with the focus. stick poking us. Do something. You let your fist to the talking. This makes you nothing but lie. Group shouts in two straight songs, Gary. Hardcore, right? So does this have to do with uh, Jesus and the Mount of Olives uh, with the guys praying and the, you know, Probably. Peter cuts off the dude's ear and that's, he's like, hey. That's the theme that I've kind of seen through all this is like Jesus' last days, which like, dude, you're releasing that on Good Friday? Like, come on. If you guys are listening to this for the first time. And it's Wednesday when this drops next week. You didn't do your homework. You didn't do it. You Somebody it was a Christian. It was a Christian metal post, dude, on Christian metal Facebook, which has like fifty thousand or more people in there, right? Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. And it was like, what are some songs leading up to Jesus' last days? Yeah. And I started typing Meadows, Barabbas, you know, all these other ones are ready to go. And I looked, and there was like hundreds of comments. 
Yeah. I knew it was going to get buried. Yep. So I didn't even do it. I like to just scroll through and like the ones. I'm like, yep, yep, yeah. yep. And all the all the ones on there are like tourniquet, striper, striper. You know. Yeah. That's Facebook though. A little older that generation. Is. This is like windbreaker music, you know? <laughs> yeah, dude, it is windbreaker music. Windbreakers and what do you call those? Booty shorts? Booty <laughs> shorts? Booty <Uchi> shorts. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, and dad hats backwards. <laughs> yeah, you gotta edit out the booty shorts. I can't be in here. <laughs> I imagine just shorts with like the, the word pink over them or something like. <laughs> well, I can't edit it out because you're still talking about oh, it. The song's over it. now, so uh, bummer. Another great song. I'm super excited. So I got actually kind of so. This is a meadow story. Uh, All right, I was driving to school. We get to, I get to school like 7 a.m., right? You, like, cut through the meadows to get no. to your... <laughs> no. Uh, jamming meadows. What yeah. is truth? And I'm rolling into the staff parking lot, and it's like 7 a.m., right? And it's it's loud. Like, I like to listen to music loud in the morning on the way to work. Um, sometimes I listen to sports radio or talk radio, but, like... Really I'm, loud? <laughs> really sports loud. radio. <laughs> but I am, like lately just on a binge of just like getting ready to go yeah and i uh, had it jammed it was what is truth and meadows is heavy but they're not like that heavy right they're heavy but they're not heavy sure and uh pulled up next to this le- <laughs> i feel i feel like from the view it was like you know how michael scott pulled up in his sebring and just like rolled in quickly and he's like there and like makes eye contact like I felt like Michael Scott because right when I turned to the side, like I made eye contact with this lady who's like older. In the parking lot? Yeah, or? in the parking lot, right okay, when I rolled okay. up and she was getting out of her car and uh, I turned my car off, but the music doesn't stop when you turn it off. It stops when you open the door. And so I'm still going, open the door. You can still hear it for a little bit. Turns off. And she's like, what are you listening to? Like, that's crazy. <laughs> In this early in the morning, like it's like drinking or something. Like you can only <laughs> do it after five p.m. or something. You drink coffee. I listen to this. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> I'm like, it's just music. She's like, this crazy. You're crazy. You listen to that? I would never. Looking at you, I wouldn't imagine you like that. And I'm so like, like on Scrubs, oh. the uh, UPS delivery guy. Yeah. You know, he's always listening to like just yes. metal. Yes, super yeah. loud all the time, going super fast. And <laughs> that that must yeah. be me. Yeah. And also, I don't realize that. Like, I'm sure it's true, but like, outside my truck, even when the doors are closed, you can hear the music, right? Like, yeah, you can hear it. So, yeah, I felt kind of weird. Like, she just like was judging me so hard that I was listening to. I don't know what she wanted me to listen to. Nothing. Maybe she roll up in classical music. Maybe that's what she day. was hoping. And just like. Yeah, so I felt really judged, and I was like, yesterday I was listening to Impending Doom, and no one said anything. They're probably too scared. They... <laughs> <laughs> Maybe, I don't know. Anyway, so that was my metal story. Like People were like, dude, that, that lady was like, this is heavy, dude. Like, this is crazy. Mm. So. All right, so uh, that's it for the new releases uh, that we chose this week. <clears throat> Next up is Encore. As I mentioned before... Uh, for this part of the show, we post on our Patreon and say, hey, patrons, even our free patrons can answer now. Um, that wasn't enabled before. My bad for telling people to do that. So if you follow us on Patreon, you will get a notification when I make this post every week. Yes. And you can make submissions. Uh, so what we do is, yeah, people just say, hey, pick this song, pick that song, pick this one. And I add them to a list. And I have a random number generator website thing that I click go saying numbers 1 through 18 today and it landed on like 3 and so 
uh, I guess I'll tell you what what came up. Uh, it's something I've never heard, and I know you've never heard. Hmm. Uh, so it's a band called Anima Tempo. Yeah, I never heard it. <clears throat> and the song is called Deceitful Idols. Okay. And it was suggested to us by Peace W. That is their name on Patreon. So, um, I'm pretty sure they're on our Discord Discord server. Yeah, as Peace. You know. Peace. Yes. Like peace sign. P- yeah. Peace sign. All right. Not a, a like a piece. Yeah. Like a more like a. <laughs> yeah, not a gun, but a peace sign. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. All right. <clears throat> uh, so let's get started. This is uh, this is it. very interesting. I listened to a couple minutes of it just to see what we were getting into, and uh, we're getting into something interesting here. Dude. Not. Let's go. It's not Christian. Uh, you know, okay. in the suggestions that we say were like any genre, any band, any year, just whatever you want Tyler and Gary to listen yeah. to. And so here we are. I like to say this, Gary. Okay, I love you. I love to hear you say Gary, it. Gary and I, Tyler, we're Christians and we love Christian music. Yeah. And most of what we listen to is Christian music, but sometimes we don't. And this is an example of us just listening yeah. to something, dude. I mean, some people listen to Taylor Swift and we don't yeah, judge those them. people. We are don't awesome. Think, so they're so well, cool. Well, I don't, I don't know about that Play one. Play the song. Next up. All right, here we go. Deceitful Idols by Anima Tempo. Okay. You don't even know what we're getting into, do you? You're like, I don't know, man. Is this Crouching Tiger, Hidden Dragon? What? Is... So they're from Mexico City. Really? I would not have even guessed this continent, so... No, I wouldn't either. You'd think Japan or something, you know? Ooh, that's beautiful. I can't tell. What language is it? What language is this in? It's in English. Is it? Okay. Yeah, he just said Deceitful Idols. Oh, duh. The song's called Deceitful Idols. Okay. Digging it, dude. Still with it. I don't know about that part, but like, there's some talent here for sure. Okay. You can hear the accent on that. Hear that now in the background? It's like, how do you describe that? Like, that's cool. Dude, this is super fun. What is this? Like, gent? Yeah, that's what I'm saying. It's like gent, but it's like not. Wow. I'm reading through the lyrics as he screams it. I can understand. I made a this hobbit is so, joke. This is so interesting, dude. Like, I made a hobbit joke last week about the flute. I don't know what that is. So, I don't know what joke I can even make. Yeah. Really different vocals all throughout. I know. Like, it started off with kind of like power metal. Yeah. And definitely some like hardcore metalcore. Yeah. And you got clean vocals here. You got some Naruto, you know, music here. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> Naruto. Reminds me of like the village hidden in the leaves, like like your theme song. Whenever he goes there, it's like that's what you hear. Very genty now, huh? Yeah, that's crazy. Oh man, it's fun though. It's cool. Yeah. Makes sense. Kind of makes my brain work, you know? Like, makes me think. This is produced by the guy that does Polyphia stuff, so. And Born of Osiris. Oh, Born of Osiris. Ooh. That's genty. Like, almost easy core. You almost hear like it almost is getting happy. 
Da dum dum da da dum dum da da dum. Yeah. Oh. And jazz. Here we go. Here we go. Oh my! <laughs> this is just wild. What? Oh, dude. <laughs> this is insane. It's like. <laughs> I like that that clean voice right there. Yeah. To be clear again, away from all fears. And when these fields will green again. Question How long mark. is this song? It's all. It's five and a half, dude. Okay. We got one minute left. We're gonna end with a breakdown. Yes. End it's with gonna a solo. get heavy. It's gonna get heavy. Maybe it just grooves on the way out. That's cool, man. I don't know if I've heard anything like it. Yeah. The real question is, is this what all their songs sound like? <laughs> what is that instrument? Is it a sitar? Is it a... Something, dude. That Japanese guitar thing that only has three strings that they're like, tank, 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 tank. It's got like that weird spoon thing that they... Oh, yeah. I forgot what that's called. Or is it computer generated? Could be. An effect on their guitar? Yeah. Because it's definitely hitting tones and stuff that are like... I don't know. Wow. Well, thanks, Peace, for suggesting that. That, that was... Crazy. It was an experience. An experience. I'm, I'm in though. Like I like that. So looking at the producer of that song reminded me that the grunge punk song, that yeah. EP, is mixed by Jason Wisdom from oh, Becoming the Archetype. That's cool. So that's pretty cool. They're homies. I guess so. I mean, enough to have him mix his album. So. Yeah. So yeah, that's, that's cool. pretty much the end of the episode, dude. That was fun. That was a lot of good music. And we didn't include the EPs that were released, right? Like, there's so much more out there. Yeah. We just took a song yeah. off of them. Yep. So There's a lot to listen to got, this Easter weekend. We got some work to do, boys. Yeah. And just so everyone knows, Tyler is not going to be here next week. Uh-oh. So well, the show I'm going to have a special on? guest, and I'm not going to say who it is. But I think, I think he confirmed that he would be here. Uh, so I will be doing the same thing. But I'm trading Tyler out for someone from another podcast. Can I say, can I give a hint? Uh, sure, I mean. He sort of reminds me of a cross between Brad Pitt and Jack Black. <laughs> what? That's as much as I'm going to give you. <laughs> That's the weirdest. It's it it totally makes sense. All right, I'm sure some people out there will Thank be like, you. "I got it." Thank so. you. So, all right, perfect. Well, cool. Thanks everyone for listening. If you like what we do, become a patron. Uh, join our Patreon even for free. Just like yeah. follow it and give us suggestions every week. Um, assuming I remember to ask people that, <laughs> uh, you know, buy us a cup of coffee once a month. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, support what we're doing, and then. Uh, Check out our Instagram for funny stuff. Check out our Facebook um, for Instagram's funny stuff. And then, uh, yeah, join our Discord server. Be part of the community. Chat with people. Our Discord server is not like our, a podcast server. It's everything. Man. It's uh, Yeah, it's every. Like, there's mu- people talk about movies, TV shows, their instruments, songs they're writing on, songs they like, whatever. Um, it's more of a community thing. It's not so much like <laughs> most people on there of the... Hundreds that are on there probably don't even listen to this. No, so. they're they're just there for the community, like-minded people hanging out, yeah. talking about music and everything else. Man, it's cool. Yeah. So thanks everyone for listening. Have a great week. That's right. See you guys. Thank you for listening.